Daddy told me that my hair might not grow back. They even said that times in my life might get really scary for a while. They told me that my cancer was strong. But they told me I was stronger. My hair is coming back just fine, and they like it. Through this fun-filled event, they were the friends that helped me crush kid cancer. Because they gave me hope! <laughs> It's been really great seeing the students super excited about not only you know participating but raising money and awareness to such a great cause. All the teams come in on that last day of registration and all the people sign up and all the money we raised. It was a nice feeling to have made a large impact. My favorite moment was probably just seeing all the people that are involved in it and signed up at the end of the week and just knowing like the school spirit that we have and that everyone will get to be a part of this and experience this is really cool to watch. We've had over 400 people register this year and some of them are the Eliminators, Tackling Cancer, the Dunkler Mifflins, uh, Boxo Crayons. One, two, three, let's get tropical! My favorite part was probably getting to work with people from West and Southwest, which that was really cool because I didn't know anyone that I was working with before. And so we got a lot of ideas and stuff from them. So I thought that was pretty cool. A really special moment was when all the leaders were at Children's Mercy and we filmed the Lip Dub video. That was awesome because we were all together and we got to see the cancer patients and it was great. Seeing all the hard work we'll fight put into it and working with the kids was awesome because not a lot of people get to experience that. So I really like, loved that part. It's really great to see our school like having like all everyone coming together and um, having a big impact on our community um, as well as like Children's Mercy and the V Foundation specifically. I think it's been really cool to see that it's not just the high school thing. It's not just an Overland Park or Kansas City thing, that it really is kind of going global in that sense. I think over time, I do want to see it continue to grow the way it's grown in Southwest. I think I want to see maybe more student ownership and more involvement and kind of getting out of those baby beginning stages, kind of those baby steps. So our goal for the event next year, I guess, is just to have more schools participate as well as just um, raise more money and make a bigger impact for those families. A lot of new schools have actually contacted us so that's really cool because they're hearing about the event from outside sources, they're, they're wanting to get in on it. Thank you to like all the people that, you know, really supported, um, you know, the student leaders that, you know, we were trying to like put this on. Dr. Judson really helped us kind of get through and provide us with steps and everything that we needed to do. 